Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at how you can clean your 3D printer screen. So the worst thing has happened, maybe you've got a little tear in your FEP, maybe you've carelessly put your fingers with some resin on on the bottom of your FEP before you put it back, but either way you've got some resin on your screen, and you're immediately looking at the cost of a new screen, and that would be a really bad time, and it's a pain in the ass to fit. But don't worry, all is not lost. It's actually relatively simple to clean your screen, as long as you've got a bit of patience. So what equipment are you going to need? Well let's start with gloves, you need nitrile gloves, and I like these black ones. There's links in the description, and these ones are particularly thick, I find they tear less. Then some isopropanol alcohol, preferably 99.9%. A microfiber sponge which is going to then not damage your screen and finally some sort of scraping implement and importantly this shouldn't be sharp. So take your isopropanol alcohol and add a good amount to your microfiber cloth. Do not do this over your screen and over your 3D printer. I know I'm doing it in the video but that was just so you can see it on screen. If you spill it that is going to cause more trouble than it's worth. Then hold the microfiber towel with the isopropyl alcohol down on your screen. Now, at this corner part, this can be quite tricky because I'd really suggest you keep that away from the tape that's holding your screen in place and hold it there for somewhere in the region of a minute, two minutes. You could go as low as 30 seconds, but I find it generally isn't as effective if you do that. Once you think you're ready to go, and you'll get used to this over time, just knowing how long you need to use, take your tool, and you'll notice I've got this wax scraper. I'll put some links to some things like that in the description. What you do is you just run that backwards and forwards over the area that's got the resin on it. I generally hold this at about a 45 degree angle-ish, and this is the important bit. Do not apply any pressure down. You're just using the weight of the tool. You're literally not pushing it down at all. And you'll notice each one of these strokes is really fast. This isn't sped up at all. And you're not really trying to do a lot of damage. You're not trying to take this off in one go. It's just slowly eroding away at the edge of that. And you're just gonna remove the resin or the excess bits that are chipping off as you go. And while it can be a slow process, you'll notice that this actually gets some relatively quick results. It just happens a little bit at a time. And you can see the resin sort of go white as it starts to flake off and chip so don't get impatient don't push down don't try to chip things away just gradually backwards and forwards taking away the excess and as you'll see it's working really well it's just going to take a little bit of time the one thing you don't want to do is end up chipping or scratching your screen because it is tough and glass that's why we can use a metal instrument like this I've had this screen it's on any cubic photon X and I've had that photon X literally since it came out I've not had to change the screen once and I have had to clean it like this several times because well I'm clumsy and things happen so there's a really quick time skip there I've just had some more isopropanol to this and then I'm just going back to it I think this actually took a total of about six minutes to get rid of this big sort of resin blob and as you see it's just making a small amount of change at a time it is quite a good idea to change the angle that you're scraping each time or fairly regularly just so that you can hit new weak spots that are being created and as you saw earlier the resin sort of starts to go white as it becomes weak and then eventually you'll just find that these bits chip off relatively quickly in one go once it starts going it's sort of like erosion slowly wearing away at a cliff and then the cliff suddenly all goes in one go sorry geography teacher can't help it and there we go we just had the largest bit chip away it's kind of a really nice feeling it's almost like when you're sort of peeling glue off of something it's just really satisfying as it sort of cleans up I'll speed up the video now just so you can see the rest of the process but essentially it's just more of the same now I have heard from other people that use different tools for this I'll put a link in the description as well of a glass scraper that I've had someone say worked really well but equally I've heard someone else say that they found that it was a little bit too aggressive and they found the feel of it as it sort of ran over the resin a little bit disconcerting that's not to say that it wouldn't work and you're very welcome to give it a try but my personal preference is sticking with these wax scrapers I just quite like them and I like the control that they give now the total of this recorded section was I think somewhere in the region of about 12 or 13 minutes so that was the major spill dealt with and you know what while I'm doing this I probably will go over the rest of the screen as well there will be some slight bits that have just got these little bits of resin that probably won't actually have a major effect on the printing process but while I'm here it's kind of nice just to get through everything and just make sure everything's as clean as it can possibly be hopefully that's been useful and hopefully that gives you an idea of something you can do without resorting to something as extreme as replacing the entirety of the screen I should say, I have actually once had my FEP split, I don't know what happened there, and it actually poured quite a sizable chunk of resin onto the screen, which then cured as well. And it worked just the same, it just took a little bit longer. I will say that took about 45-50 minutes worth of cleaning to get off, 
But again, I'll happily spend 50 minutes doing that as opposed to however long it's going to take to replace the screen and the cost of a screen. So hopefully you found that video useful, a little bit of a break from the norm, but hopefully that will be something that might save you a bit of time in the future. As always, if you find the video useful, please do give it a like. It's really appreciated and it helps spread the channel around. And if you want to come back for more 3D printing tips and blender design, please do hit that subscribe button or just check out some of my other videos, see if it's the sort of thing that you'd be interested in. And if you want to support the channel further, head on over to Patreon like these fantastic people have. It really helps support the channel and I can't really put into words how much I appreciate it. Have a great day, guys.